Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord in his strength. Constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. You're very welcome to Mass today on the 30th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you have revealed yourself as the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. You have poured out on your people the spirit of truth. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd leading us to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Tell the sons of Israel this, You must not molest the stranger or oppress him, for you lived as strangers in the land of Egypt. You must not be harsh with the widow or with the orphan. If you are harsh with them, they will surely cry out to me and be sure I shall hear their cry. My anger will flare, and I shall kill you with the sword. Your own wives will be widows, and your own children orphans. If you lend money to any of my people, to any poor man among you, you must not play the usurer with him. You must not demand, demand interest from him. If you take another's cloak as a pledge, you must give it back to him before sunset. It is all the covering he has. It is the cloak he wraps his body in. What else would he sleep in? If he cries to me, I will listen, for I am full of pity. The Word of the Lord. I love you, Lord, my strength, my rock, my fortress, my saviour. My God is the rock where I take refuge, my shield, my mighty help, my stronghold. The Lord is worthy of all praise. When I call, I am saved from my foes. Long life to the Lord, my rock. Praise be the God who saves me. He has given great victories to his king and shown his love for his anointed. 
a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You observe the sort of life we lived when we were with you, which was for your instruction, and you were led to become imitators of us and of the Lord, and it was with the joy of the Holy Spirit that you took to the gospel in spite of the great opposition all round you. This has made you the great example to all believers in Macedonia and Acacia, since it is from you that the word of the Lord starts to spread, and not only throughout Macedonia and Acacia, for the news of your faith in God has spread everywhere. We do not need to tell other people about it. Other people tell us how we started the work among you, how you broke with idolatry, when you were converted to God and became servants of the real living God, and how you are now waiting for Jesus his Son, whom he raised from the dead, to come from heaven to save us from the retribution that is coming. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Open our heart, O Lord, to accept the words of your Son, Alleluia. My heart and my lips, O oh God, that I may word the name The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they got together and to disconcert him, one of them put a question. Master, which is the greatest commandment of the law? Jesus said, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. The second resembles it. You must love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang the whole law and the prophets also. The Gospel of the Lord. There's this story about a Jewish rabbi who was in prison. It was a very rigid regime and he barely had enough food to survive. But being a very orthodox Jew, he struck to the letter of the law in everything. Each day, when he got his meagre fare of food and drink, he went through all the ritual of washing before eating using up most of his daily allowance of water in the process Luckily for him, he got out of prison in time, another short while, and he would have died of thirst, all of his own making. We know the Pharisees were sticklers for the letter of the law, which Jesus felt very uneasy about. Today, they put him on the spot. For Jesus, the law of love takes precedence over love of the law, it should be the same for us, especially in rever reference to the Ten Commandments. The Third Commandment said that we must keep holy the Lord's Day. Now, attending Mass is part and parcel of being a Catholic Christian, but does our participation in the Mass empower us to live more selfless lives like Jesus, who laid down his life for us? Again, I love my neighbor and fulfill the sixth commandment by being faithful to my spouse. But the relationship may be just coasting along, going nowhere. Marriage is more than peaceful coexistence. When a couple celebrates the sacrament of marriage, they are stating that their love for each other is based on, on Christ's love for his bride, the church which involved self-sacrifice. Now, in Christian marriage, the husband and wife promise in so many words to lay down their lives for each other. I could keep the seventh commandment by never having stolen from anybody which fulfills the letter of the law. But there is more to it than that.
Giving without counting the cost. Giving until it hurts. Where in the scale of 1 to 10 would I rank myself in the field of generosity? Remember, the Lord loves a cheerful giver. And the Lord also says, the amount you measure out is the amount you're going to be given back. Coming to the fifth commandment, I know I've never ended anyone's life, but have I done or failed to do anything which may have adversely affected the quality of their lives? When Jesus dealt with the marginalized people of his day, he didn't just follow the crowd, who more or less ignored them, but he went out of his way to give them a new lease of life and restore their dignity as children of God. Many people may feel so disaffected with life that they want to end it all. We know there's great concern today about the, the high number of young people, particularly men, who end their lives. That happened to one of the priests ordained with me. Loving my neighbor means more than refraining from doing them any harm but being there when they need me most and when the going gets tough or rough, reassuring them that no problem, howsoever large, is insurmountable. If I stick to the letter of the law, my love for God and my neighbor is wearing a bit thin. Following the spirit of the law, particularly the Ten Commandments, I'll have risen to new heights in loving God and my neighbor. Let us make our prayer to God of our salvation, because all our hope rests in him. Let us pray for those who preach the gospel today. May their words be a source of inspiration and healing for those who listen. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for those who come to this country for work from a different culture and background. As strangers, may they never feel unwelcome. Lord, hear us. Let us pray that our love of God and neighbor be genuine. May it be seen in a selfless way of life. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for carers and those who look after the elderly. May they see Christ in them. Lord, hear us. Let us pray for those who died recently, especially all who died and those whose anniversaries occur around this time. May they have the eternal reward of their goodness. Lord, hear us. We pray to Mary, Mother of Mercy, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Let us pause and pray for needs of our own. The Healing Prayer we pray for all who are suffering from COVID-19, especially in our parish, that they may be speedily healed and return to their ordinary duties. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to you, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Ralph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering to God. Let us pray. <clears throat> May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.